What is up wanderers? Prepared to wander out in the woods today. It is a beautiful fall evening, crisp. The leaves are starting to change as you can tell. And uh, it's another glorious day in Ohio. And I am here with a review for you of a Tough Possum Shackleton EDC satchel. Stick around. So if you guys follow the channel, you probably know I do a lot of reviews of packs, bags, and in particular haversacks and sling packs. Um, I don't know what it is. I have a fascination with them. Um, I try new stuff when it comes out because I want to test it. I want to see what it's like. And then, of course, the new shiny toy comes out on the market. I get excited about it. I purchase it or whatever, and I bring it to you guys. So I've tested a lot of different ones, and today is no different. I've got another one for you. But this one is just a little bit different, and, uh, well, the quality is amazing. So you know of the Tough Possum gear brand and name. Maybe you don't, but I think a lot of people in the bushcraft community do. And what I want to do is, is show you mine, talk about the features and what I think about it, how I plan on using it, and then hopefully it's something that you guys can use as far as information when making your purchasing decision because I think it's important that you guys have the ability to really check things out before you spend your hard-earned dollars and that's what I'm here to help you with. So let's get into it and see what you guys think. So this is going to be a really straightforward review. I'm going to go over the features, show you what's inside mine, and then talk about how I plan on using it or how I've been using it and see what you guys think. Now, Tough Possum Gear, background information. Uh, the gentleman who runs that company is from Ohio, lives and works here, and designs all his gear in Ohio. Uh, USA made stuff, all of it. And uh, has a lot more stuff other than just the satchel. There are a bunch of pouches and cool items that we all use for bushcraft and for EDC. And Jay Berry, who's the, the gentleman who, who comes up with this stuff, has been producing this stuff for a little while now and just really knocks it out of the park with his designs, his attention to detail, uh, and the materials that he picks and uses for his designs. So this is the Shackleton EDC satchel. Uh, it is a uh, very basic, I will say, uh, satchel haversack type bag, but don't let the basicness of it fool you. Uh, it is feature rich, it has some great components that are really well thought out, and it's amazing uh, how comfortable it carries. But first, before we get all into that, let's just take a look at this thing firsthand and talk about materials. 500D Cordura, Main USA. All the components are US uh, made. Uh, we have a Cobra style buckle on the front, which really allows for easy one-handed opening. I actually had a friend of mine uh, messing around with this and he has some issues with his hands, I think a little bit of arthritis, and uh, he said, man, that thing is so easy to open even for my 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 paws and he, that he really appreciated that that it was so easy to open and it is but it is also very positive locking it's not going to come open on you um, in the field uh, you really have to you know press depress both of those buttons at the same time but once that happens it quickly and easily unlocks it's not that uh, traditional fast text buckle that's always kind of sticky and stiff 
this thing is smooth it's like butter it's <laughs> it's super nice another cool feature about this bag that is built into it is how the buckle is adjustable so it looks like just a simple flap over style bag right no adjustment because there's no extra strap well you're wrong the buckle actually slides on up and down the strap so now what you can do is you can adjust and put larger items underneath the flap of the bag and that's what I did with mine I adjust that a little bit so I can carry my set pad whatever you're gonna be able to get that underneath that flap and then that flap of course uh, can open up like that expand or shift it down and make it nice and tight of course we have two inch adjustable shoulder strap super nice back of the bag there is some padding to it and there are channels sewn into it but you also notice that there are these tabs or well, what these are for is to attach this to a larger pack and I think I was reading somewhere online that uh, some people were attaching this to some maybe some of the hill people gear packs I'm not positive on that I don't have any of those packs so I haven't been able to do that myself but that's what these tabs are for now I think what would be a really cool mod for this is to actually run some elastic uh, cordage in a crisscross cross pattern with a cord lock and that way you could stuff a jacket back here and that would just expand your carrying capabilities. Other thing on this bag is there are side pouches built in, you can see that, that are nice and wide and deep enough to get some good size items in there. Now I've got my flashlight in here on this side. Same thing goes on this side. I've got my open L saw. I've also had my Baco Laplander in here. That fit in here no problem. I put uh, some sheathed knives uh, in here as well. No issue. They all seem to fit. Um, of course, if they're a little bit longer, they're going to stick out a little bit taller above the uh, shoulder strap, which I don't care for. I like it to be below the shoulder strap so it doesn't um, get in the way, but you have that ability to put different sized items in here. Now, one thing you will notice about this bag, there is no molly, and um, that can be an issue for you, maybe. For me, it's not a problem. I think a lot of times with these haversacks, they get overly complex. You start adding molly and pockets and all these different things to it, and now the bag becomes really heavy and not comfortable to carry because you're you really got to think about this. You're only carrying it on one shoulder. So of course we got the tough possum logo on the front. Like I said, no molly no uh, extra ability to add extra stuff to it but once you open this thing up this is really where the magic happens you've got a, some organization built inside the bag but it's also very simple so we have a, a closure at the top that keeps your contents from kind of spilling out if the bag accidentally gets dumped and that is a traditional fast text buckle so that opens up like that and if you guys can see in here, the back wall is covered in Velcro material with uh, slots uh, like for Pals webbing or Molly webbing. So you can actually attach pouches to the back wall, either Velcro or traditional Molly. So there's some additional ability to to organize the bag but there is more Let's see if i can get this in here for you guys to see so the front there are two pouches built in little slip pouches one right here one right there so let's get this thing opened up, pull the contents out so you can see this better. 
So I'm going to start pulling stuff out so you guys can actually see the organization built into this. So here's another product from Tough Possum Gear. This is his canteen pouch. This allows you to put a canteen cook set inside your bag and keep the soot from getting all over the inside of your bag. Very simple product, but a great idea. And uh, no one else in the market is making anything like this. And I love mine because it, it keeps my, the inside of my bags clean. Because these canteens and cook sets, of course, get really sooty and gross. And a lot of times when I'm in the field, I don't have time to clean stuff up thoroughly. I like to take it back to my house and clean it up then. So you have that great product. Check that out. Another product of Tough Possum Gear is the uh, survival pouch that I think he just came up with, or survival kit pouch. Comes in this really cool blaze orange uh, reinforced uh, nylon material. It's um, almost kind of plastic feeling, uh, but very durable. Really heavy duty, and I've got my first aid kit in here. See that? So, another great Tough Possum Gear product. And I've just got a uh, survival kit here from another manufacturer. Got my spork. Got some 550 cord. Okay, now we can start to see a little bit more inside the bag. take this out. This is just an organizer, um, elastic organizer from Condor. I happen to have it so I threw it in there to see how that worked. This is another product from Tough Possum Gear. This is called the Skittles Pouch and it's specifically designed for the EDC Shackleton bag and any other bag that has Velcro inside of it so you can organize all the little stuff. I've just got uh, I've got my, my Jelly Bellies, camera battery, and some Burt's Bees in there. So it keeps all those little things organized. But that Velcro is right to that, to that back wall. Got my notebook, pouch, my compass. Okay, so the bag is empty now. Now you can see what I was talking about. Here are those those pockets that are built into the front. There's two of those and they're nice and generous in the size. They're wide enough to get some stuff in there and get some pouches in there. And then of course you've got the back wall. So that is it. There is not a lot of extra stuff on this bag. It is very simple. And that's what I meant when I was talking about it at the beginning of the video is the simplicity of the design. But I think that's what makes this bag so multi-purpose because the thing is I've got this set up for woods use for bushcrafting for hiking but this thing would easily transition into an EDC bag put your iPad in there uh, your cell phone your cords a notebook some pens a water bottle and you're ready to go to the office um, or day out sightseeing with the family. I mean, there's just a lot of different ways you can use this bag. And I think that's what's so cool about this is that I'm not forced into just using this for bushcraft. It's not out of place in the city, um, as well as not out of place in the woods. It, it transitions to both. And I think that's um, pretty darn cool. All right, guys, here with my buddy Shackleton hanging out in the woods. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. It's, um, it's a great bag, and I know I've reviewed a lot of different bags and said, oh, oh these are great, and I really enjoy these. Um, and I know you're going to ask, like, well, which one would you pick? There's so many out there, and there are some really great makers out there. I mean, you have to acknowledge that uh, we are in the day and age of awesome gear. 
um, as outdoors people we just we have so many different choices to pick from so it's hard to pick my favorite there are some really good ones out there and sometimes other ones are better for different purposes and I think everybody is so different in their needs and their in the special specialization that you have in your gear that it's hard for me to say oh this is the bag you should buy um, I definitely think you should check out Tough Possum Gear's website. Um, you know, it's USA made stuff. The the gentleman who's making it is a really super nice guy, super down to earth. Talked to him several times. I've been, always enjoyed talking to him and working with him on stuff, <clears throat> seeing what new things he comes out with. And I'm really fortunate to do this review of this product. Um, because it is it's a really nice bag it's really well made and I, I think it's going to serve me well for a long time because it is so versatile it's not just a bushcraft haversack like so many other ones are this one uh, kind of bridges the gap between those two worlds you can be out in the woods um, on the weekend and then on monday take out those contents throw in your office stuff and head to, head, head to work and you're ready to go. Um, that's what makes this bag so nice. And it looks, just, it's very classy looking. Um, really clean, simple, and, and functional. As far as um, other colors that you can pick from, there are a few. This is the Ranger Green. There's also a Multicam Black. Um, and I believe a Coyote. And um, I think there is a special run of of all black bags with a, a gray interior that are out right now um, you'll have to check out the website and see what's available all right guys that's it for today thanks for watching as always please like subscribe and share make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notifications check out tough possum gears website really cool products lots of really awesome pouches i mean he has just a, a full range of different size pouches that will meet your needs and your applications um, i have a lot of his gear i love it it's great stuff made in usa and uh yeah thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the prepared wanderer